Hello everybody and welcome back to the tech team. So in this tutorial we are going to talk about chain conditions. So with that being said, let's start the video. So what we are going to talk about is and or and not. Okay, so let's start with and okay so let's create a variable a that is equal to 10 and let's create another variable b that is equal to 10 as well and let's say that if a and b are equal to 10 then we want to print good and else we want to print bad okay so if i now run the program you can see that we get good because and a and b are equal to 10 so let's now create let's now talk about or so if a or b are equal to 10 print good else print bad so if i press a 5 you can see that we get good but if I change this, if I change the B to B5 and I run the program, we get good as well. If I change the OR to an end and I run the program, we get bad because with OR, we are telling that if A or B are equal to 10, so if one of them is equal to 10 then we want to print good so that's pretty cool you can do lots of things with or and lots of things with and so when think about that when we get good we return true and when we get bad is like returning false okay so let's now talk about not and let's change this to an end and change this to 10 so let's do that now what we are telling first of all let's run the program you can see that we get bad now let's talk about why we got bad so we have if a and b are equal to 10 we should get good so we return true but with the not word here is like returning false so it's like telling if a and b are equal to another number think about that so that's why we got bad and yeah that's really it for this tutorial i know that it was kind of small but trust me in the next couple of tutorials we are going to talk about something really cool classes and objects so you don't want to miss this tutorial out no, but with that being said i will see you all in the next tutorial goodbye